so I woke up this morning with something on my mind, like it, it was just bothering me. I post, I made a post yesterday of where I was talking about LeVar Ball and Lonzo Ball and Shoe and all that. And it really got me to thinking that I, I really feel like this is a great self-reflection piece for the black community because I really think we need to readjust the way we view ourselves. So what I'm about to explain, I want you to take the look and cost completely out of the scenario. So we're gonna take the look and the cost completely out of the scenario. They don't matter. What I'm talking about is priceless. It's free. You can't you can't put a value on this in terms of money or anything of that nature. It's innate. It is it's just a human characteristic. It's a human trait. And you wake up with this every day and that is called self-worth. And self-worth lends itself to value. Because if you wake up every morning understanding your worth in this world, whenever you extend your time and efforts and ideas to anything, you in turn put value on that something or that someone. It's, it's funny because, you know, I've, I've seen a lot of people were saying, who is this guy? Who the hell he think he is selling a shoe for 495? Nobody know him. Who, who His son ain't play a, 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 a quarter of basketball yet. Who did he think he is? Well, who was Ralph Lauren before it, he was Polo? He was just a guy working for a tie maker who had a vision to make ties. Who was Gucci before Gucci? Who the hell is Balenciaga? Like, who the hell is the, who, who are these people? You don't know these people. So what's the issue? The question is, who are you to tell another man what he's worth? Who are you to place value on another man's product or property or invention, idea, initiative, whatever? That That's not your call. You know what I'm saying? The fact that he wakes up in the morning and knows and understands his value and his worth to the world says a whole lot. So why are we hating on that? Why are we knocking that? If you think the price is too high, just don't buy the shoe. But don't go around hating on the man, telling saying he's stupid, saying the shoe too high, but I see cats buying Balenciagas for 900 uh, Gucci shoes, Louis shoes. I mean, I mean some of the, to me, ugly shit. But they buying it. You know, I find myself hating on shit sometimes. What I've taught myself is I keep my hating to myself. I keep my hate to myself. You know, if it's on some political open forum discussion shit, yeah, I'm going to give my opinion. But for just blatantly hating on some shit because I don't like it, I don't like the color, I don't like the way it look, I keep that shit to myself. The more you compress it, the less you hate. You just learn to appreciate the other aspects of it, but you probably wouldn't know that because you're not in business. Like, that shoe might be ugly to you, but you don't know what it took to get that shoe done. And I, I'm looking at the shoe like, that shit in the store though. He got that shoe in the store. You only see an ugly shoe. I see somebody who put the work in, designed the shoe, had the shoe created, and got it in the store. You gotta give you gotta give people a chance to to fail before they succeed. You know, believe it or not, he's already succeeded at the hardest part of it. You know, and that's the marketing. He's getting fifty million dollars worth of marketing just by running his mouth. That's the that's the most expensive part of the whole process. That's out of the way. Cause we're talking about it now, and, and y'all calling them dumb. Man, you you gotta appreciate how he came out. You have to respect how he came out. He did something a lot of people would be scared to do: put that kind of price on the shoe, uh, a product for a first time around. I hear you know some people they have a problem with his approach, right? They say he's too loud, he's too this, he's too that.
You know, you have to be willing to be extra. Like, if you're not willing to be extra, if not willing to be different, then you're not you, you're not willing to win. You know, you, the status quo don't work for everybody, especially not us. You know how many people was hating on Diddy when Diddy was walking around in the shiny suits and all that stuff, driving around New York in the purple car and all that stuff. People looking at Diddy like he crazy, but Diddy knew what he was doing. And that was a billion dollars ago. Same thing with Jay-Z. They told Jay, you'll never be able to go from drug dealing to, to doing this. And it took a very brash personality like Dame to break some of those doors down. You know what I'm saying? Like Dame was just very loud and in your face and it worked. Did it was the same way it worked. You need that sometimes. Somebody has to go first. Somebody has to be the example. Sometimes the example is a casualty, and sometimes the example is a win for everybody. You know what I mean? Look at at Master P. Master P didn't go with the with, with the deal that everybody else was taking. Master P said, "You, I'll give you fifteen. I'm taking this. If you don't like it, then I I do it by myself." But the label saw value in P. The same value that he saw in himself that he was not willing to sell. Like he was not willing to come off of that. People in business understand, and especially people who have built business, they understand one thing. If there's value in it and that value continues to grow, although we didn't do business on Monday of this year, don't mean we can't do business on Tuesday of next year. So say he does all of this and all of this shit happens. Trust and believe Nike, Adidas, and Reebok will come back because they're not in the business of feelings. They're in the business of making money. They're in the business of business. And business begets business. Once you learn self-value, you will understand that. No matter if you overprice yourself or, or you felt like you, you, you went the wrong route or whatever, if you are steadfast on your business and your business continues to grow, it's going to come back around. Only people in their feelings are not going to do business with somebody because, oh, he, he, he came out and tried to do it on his own. Shit, why wouldn't I sign somebody who already got their blueprint? All I got to do is put it in my machine and, and let it run. You did all the work. I remember one time I had a meeting with this guy. He heard about an idea that I had. He thought it was a good idea. He wanted to meet with me about it. So leading up to the meeting... I'm saying to myself, man, I can't go in there and ask for all this money because if I go and ask for all this money, he going to look at me like I'm crazy. And the exact opposite happened because I went into the meeting, I lowballed the piss out of myself, and the whole time after he was like, so how much is this going to cost? And I give him some low-ass number. The whole, his demeanor changed. The whole rest of the meeting, he was looking at me like, this cat don't know what the hell he's talking about. It's no way we can get that done for that number. Why? Because I went in there and sold myself short. We can't keep doing that. Like, as black people, we cannot keep doing that. And the problem with us, another problem with black people is we wait for everybody else to say it's hot for us to jump on. All too often, when at conception, we're hating. We're hating at the conception process. We're hating in the initial process. And we don't start loving it until the whole world starts to love it. Right? And I'm seeing all these people hating on LaVar Ball. Them fucking shoes too high. They just did it. All, everybody tweeting bad stuff about LaVar Ball in this shoe. What if 10,000 of those tweets were, hey man, we like what you're doing. A little bit out of our price range. A little bit out of my price range. Can they, you know, do you have a, sh a cheaper sh version of the shoe? As black people, let's send the message out there. Let's send the positive message like, yo, we want to help. We can't afford that instead of sending messages of, oh, I hate this. I hate that. Let's say it wins. Let's say that shit wins. This man has essentially created an empire, uh, a structure to now where he can hire young black designers to come help with his designs help with the, the, the uh, marketing, the PR work, in essence, creating jobs. But you hating. And if I'm not mistaken, I heard somewhere he sold 5,000 shoes. That's 
$495 times 5,000 equals what? $2.4 million some odd dollars? What is winning for 10000 Alex? To me, that sounds like he's winning. You know what I mean? Despite what he what he paid for the shoes or whatever, it reminds me of when um, Nipsey Hussle did his album for... He sold his album for, I want to say, $1,000 a piece? $100 or $1,000, one of the two. And everybody was like, man, ain't nobody finna buy that for that, 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 that. It worked. So I tried it myself. I put out an album called 30 something. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to sell the first 30 copies for $30. Which I was going to use that money to pay for my listening party, right? So put the album out. I'm pretty sure a bunch of motherfuckers was hating. Like, oh, who he think he is? Who he think he is? So we're going to buy the album for $30. Then one sold, then two sold, then five, then ten. Next thing you know, I done sold thirty. And my boy, I remember my boy told me, he he asked me, why, why are you only gonna do thirty? Do all one hundred of them. I'm like, nah, nah, I just need thirty. Selling myself short. And sure enough, when I got to my thirty, next morning I woke up, I had sold two more, thirty-two. And by the time we got to my listening party, I had a few left and I sold all of the rest of them for 30 And I gave people the option to get it for $10, but they wanted the 30 because I put the value on it. I remember when people said uh, Dre was crazy for selling headphones for $300. It worked. It worked. I remember people were saying LeBron was crazy for not signing with Jay-Z sports agency or a well-known sports agency and doing it on his own. It worked. People say, okay, he prices you too high. He don't know what he's doing. Okay, I give you that. I wouldn't buy this shoe for $4.95 because I wouldn't buy any tennis shoe for $4.95. But understand, the price of the shoe and the value of the shoe are two different things. The market determines the price. He may see a $495 value in the shoe. He has every right to. He created it. He decides the value. The market, on the other hand, will decide if people are going to pay $495 for the shoe. So don't get those two mixed up. Because even if he sold the shoe for $200 because that's what the market says... That still doesn't take away the fact that he values that shoe at $4.95. When I say the market dictates the price point, it not only, you know, dictates that, it also, in time, tells you what you should sell and what you shouldn't sell. But you, but while you have people hating, the person who's being hated on, hated on is going through the process, getting that much closer to figuring it out while you over here hating it instead of trying to help figure out or throwing ideas in the universe you hating because when you if you look at McDonald's right when the McDonald's brothers took over their father's restaurant they were selling barbecue barbecue is what they were selling and over time they realized well people are not buying our barbecue like that People are buying the burgers. That like all, all, all they want to buy is burgers. So they streamlined the whole operation and started selling burgers. And it worked. They would have never have known that if they didn't start selling the barbecue. So, again, we hating and y'all not even giving it a chance. You're not even giving this man a chance to mess up and learn. Because once he does learn... And he does get a hold of it. Let's say his son go in that league and ball out. This man has essentially created an entity that can sign your son, your nephew, your brother, or whatever. And it's black owned. What is the problem with that? Like, how do you call another man stupid for ambition? Stupid for trying? 
But everybody want to be a boss. You know, everybody say boss this, boss that. But you know, in order to be a boss, you have to have balls. You have to be opportunistic. You have to be stubborn and steadfast. And if you're not all for it, you're not really a boss. You, you know, your money don't make you a boss. Your, your possessions don't make you a boss. Your actions make you a boss. You feel me? And the fact that he's willing to go to this extent to prove his point, by all means, man, you got to congratulate that, man. You, you, you have to be happy for that, brother. You know? And I encourage everybody to buy the shoe. If the shoe is in your price point, buy the shoe. If for nothing else, just to support. Let's help build a black-owned Nike. Like, let's help build a black-owned Adidas, Reebok. What's the problem with that? You know, then you're gonna have people saying, oh, he didn't really sell 5,000. That's a lie. So my question to you is, you really went that far to the, you went to that extent to prove this man ain't, ain't sell 5,000 pair of shoes. But you, to me, it sounds like it's not that you didn't believe he sold that amount of shoes. The true fact of the matter is that you don't want him to have sold that amount of shoes. Hating that crab shit. Because Coke only sold, what, nine bottles a day when they first started? Now they doing like 1.9 million or some shit? So Rock, before Diddy and his eccentrics and all of his flashiness came along that y'all call cornballish and all this, they sold 40,000 cases in the first year. All he said was, so Rock is the drink of New Year's and it just took off. You know, and if the price is too high for you, wait on it. Wait. How many times you went in the store and you saw a TV? I want that TV. But it's too high. You ain't, you're not tweeting and going off on Sony and, and Samsung for their highest TV. What you going to do? Oh, it's going to go down. I'm going to wait. And, and sure enough, give it a few months. You go back in Walmart, the TV is right where you want it. The price where you want it. Shit might even be an open box. Y'all got to let the process do what the process does. But... We want to hate because you didn't do it. You can't do it. You're scared to do it. You want to go the easy way. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. I bet people thought Rosa Parks was crazy for, for not getting up. You know what I'm saying? But it takes somebody to throw the first punch. It takes somebody to take the first step. So, again, man, I pray that we get off this crap shit and start to find value in ourselves and in the things we do.